Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing a walkthrough on how I make a vintage dress from a vintage pattern. I'll be using Simplicity 8182 and it's this gorgeous, cute pattern from 1969. When I was looking for the fabric, I was down to find anything like the ones in the pictures because they're all really cute. So I went to the fabric store and I found a fabric just like the middle one. And I found a silk chiffon with some iridescent blue purple tones. And I'm pairing it with a purple lining to go underneath. So the front and back panels will have will be lined and then the sleeves will just be the silk chiffon so kind of have like little see-through uh, see looking sleeves. So I'm excited to get started. This is my first time using a vintage pattern and surprisingly I won't be making a mock-up just because I'll, I'm just going to be measuring the pattern like on the chest, the sleeves, the length just to make sure that it's gonna fit and it should be good. So let's get started. I'm starting off by opening up the pattern pieces. Then I'm gonna measure all the pieces just to make sure that it's gonna fit me. To measure the length, because this is a raglan sleeve, I'm starting from my neck to my wrist. It measures 25, but I'm going to add two inches for ease. Now I'm measuring the bust, starting at the underarm across the chest. The total I got was 37 inches and my bust is around 32. It seems like a good amount of ease for the style of dress so I'll be keeping it as is. To correct the sleeve length measurement, I folded the pattern the amount I want shortened. The fold in the middle of the sleeve is so the volume is kept at the bottom instead of just taking it out at the bottom. I also shortened the length of the dress. I made sure to keep the middle backs and fronts consistent so it's a straight edge. The fold is in the middle of the dress so it doesn't change the volume in the hem. I don't use commercial patterns very often, but the times I do, I make sure to read all the instructions before starting to have an overall idea in case I want to sew it slightly differently. Now I'm cutting the pattern pieces and laying out the fabric so the grains are smooth and flat. The silk chiffon is very shifty, so I'm being extra careful that the grains are laying properly. A ruler helps to make sure that the warp and weft grains are perpendicular to each other. Along the folded edge, I'm cutting it along the ruler so that it connects. And then now I'm just cutting the rest of the pattern pieces. Here I prepared the collar with the interfacing. To attach the chiffon to the lining, I'm going to sew base stitches starting at the underarm up to the neckline. I did the same to the front and back and now I'm going to sew the center back to attach the zipper. The pattern says to apply it centered, but I could have also used an invisible zipper which I should have done instead. So now I'm just centering the zipper over my base seam and pinning it on the right side of the fabric. One of the changes I did to the instructions of the pattern is by using a French seam to all my seams of the dress. That's because the silk chiffon frays really easily. So now I attach the front and back armholes wrong sides together at 1 4th seam allowance. Then I trim the seam allowance and press the seams. First the way I sewed, then pressing the seam towards one side, then right sides together. And then now I sew at 1 4th seam allowance, so that's a total of half an inch seam allowance for a French seam. The raglan sleeve has a dart at the shoulder, so I also sewed the dart with a French seam. For the collar, I basted the lining and the chiffon together. Now I just folded it in half, and now to sew the sides, but with one side of the seam allowance up. Now to clip the corner and the sides. I use the point turner to get a nice point. Now I'm attaching it right sides together by lining up the edges and notches. As I'm sewing it, I'm constantly making sure the bodice is laying flat so there's no folds. But no matter how careful you are, it still happens. So here I'm just fixing the little fold, but turns out the collar was too high, which not sure which lady in the 1960s that had such high necks. Go figure. <laughs> So then I just trimmed it and reattached it. 
And now I'm doing a rolled hem for the lining and the chiffon. For the bottom of the sleeve, I'm making a little casing to put the elastic through it. For the elastic on my wrist, I measured the elastic that fits fitted, then I add 2 inches. Then I feed the elastic with the safety pin through the channel till it meets the other end and then I just sew it closed. I also double check that the elastic is not twisted inside the casing. For the collar, I use the blind stitch to finish the collar seam. I have a tutorial for blind stitches if you like to see that more in depth. And here's the final product. I love the way it came out. It's such a cute, romantic, retro looking dress. Thank you for watching!